11. Up next on Live at 5, Lloyd Kramer talks to a group of people who are keeping the music of Spike Jones alive. Stay with us. <laughs> Well, they say you wait long enough, the good stuff comes back. Mm. 22 years ago, we lost a master of a special breed of pop music. But Lloyd Kramer has discovered a spot where the sounds live on. Oh, Laura, is the face in the misty light. Ah! Footsteps that you hear. This is Michael's Pub, 55th Street, just east of 3rd. And what you're listening to is the music of one Lindley Armstrong Jones better known as Spike. <laughs> Spike Jones, who died 21 years ago, was born in Virginia, raised in California, and beginning with his success back in the 1940s, influenced Peter Sellers, Monty Python, Eddie Davis, Todd Robbins, J.J. Silva. <laughs> I live on 86th Street Broadway. Uh -huh. uh, well, if I had a siren, I'd blow it. What it. I <laughs> Did any of you ever meet Spike Jones? No, I don't no, think no. so. No. Unfortunately, I grew up with him, of course, on the TV and uh, Colgate Comedy Hours, and then, all, of course, on his own shows in the 50s. The thing about Spike Jones, the people around him appeared to be as sane as he was. Every musician, I think, has that little thing in there he wants to let escape. You know, he wants to let it get out somewhere, and you never have that chance. And Spike Jones had a, a, a looseness, and, you know, and there was a lot of improvising, the clarinet players jamming all the time, and it was sort of very jazz-related. So, with a devotion to Spike Jones, noteworthy both for its authenticity and, shall we say, zest, Members of the New York Jazz Ensemble are like musical missionaries spreading the word. Yeah, there have been a lot of uh, different comedy groups. There were comedy groups before uh, Spike Jones. The Hoosier Hotshots were very famous. Sure. I'm from Indiana, so I grew up uh, the Hoosier. Myself. Tudor on the Tudor time. That's right. Uh, are you ready? There's a crack and a slide whistle. <laughs> and there were the Corn Cobblers, and there was the one that Freddie Snicklefritz Fisher. I met Freddie Snicklefritz. I beg your pardon? Freddie Snicklefritz Fisher. In some secluded rendezvous. The I'd also like to mention when Spike started out, he, he was more of an instrumental band. It was a small group like this, and they played a lot of instrumental things. And novelty tunes. Right. Later on, when he got to TV shows, he was, he was one of the very main people in early television. When he got to the television shows, he saw the idea of the visualness. That's when he found characters like Doodles Weaver. <laughs> The show is open-ended, runs Tuesdays through Saturdays. What else is there to recall except nice suits? It's funny, we've listened to all this music and been playing it for a while, and it hasn't bothered any of us. It's, it's, it's been... You know, Not yet! No, it's, it's, it's been a great experience. It hasn't bothered any of us, has it? No. <laughs> Lloyd Kramer, News 4, New York. Yeah. That's music. Yeah, a couple of bricks shy of a load, those people. <laughs> That's live at five.